The clean and jerk makes up the second half of the sport of weightlifting. It includes two lifts, the clean and the jerk. It is probably best that you have a go at both of these lifts, these lifts separately before putting them together in one lift. There is tutorial videos on both of them on this channel. Grasp the bar using a hook grip. Using a grip where an empty bar would sit about one or two centimeters below your belly button if you were to stand up fully. Have your feet in the jumping position. Chest out, head up, ass down and out. Break the bar off the floor. As you come up your leg, think about sweeping the bar backwards into your hips. When you get past your knees, start to bring the bar into your hips faster. When the bar brushes against your hips, explode up violently. Shrug up tall, hips through the bar, knees to the floor, get up on the balls of your feet. When you're fully extended, move the catch. To catch, pull yourself under the bar using your arms, let go of your grip, jump your feet out, land on your heels into a deep squat, turn your elbows up and catch the bar on your shoulders. Stand up fully. You will now need to set for the jerk. Get a full fist in the bar, set your elbows out and down, make your back as big as you can, flaring your lats out like in a lat pose. Stand bolt upright, head up and back, sit under your heels, think short sharp dip, drive up as hard as you physically can, push yourself down into the, the split receive with your arms. Think about jump down, punch the roof, let the bar settle overhead, and recover to the center position, bring your feet back to center, normally using the front foot first. Three things to be mindful of when performing this lift. When you first start, consistency is more important than weight. Use loads you can move and move well. As we have spoken of before, try to spend time doing these lifts instead of sets and reps. Allocate, allocate 20 to 30 minutes three times a week when you first start and perform part drills, power variations, full lifts, lifts off blocks as the variety will help your practice. Two, stay on your heels in every aspect of this lift apart from the second pull and jerk drive. Keeping your weight back will help to keep the bar close. Three, when you're practicing, think about it as being efficient as possible as you will almost certainly be using weights that are easily in your strength and power limits when you first start to learn. To reflect this, try and be as efficient when you lift as possible. For instance, instead of just firing a jerk up as high as you can in the drive, put it up just enough or just high enough and concentrate on getting deep into a good strong catch position. That concludes this tutorial. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.